Hey there, art lovers. Welcome back to this art. Today, we're diving into the world of Edward Hopper, an American realist painter and printmaker. Hopper had a unique way of capturing the beauty in everyday life. His paintings were like windows into a world filled with subdued drama and hidden meanings. Let's start with, Toward Boston. In this piece, Hopper takes us on a journey through a train window, capturing the fading sunlight in the anticipation of arriving in the bustling city. Next up, we have, Railroad Sunset. Hopper's use of light and shadow creates a sense of tranquility as we witness the sun setting over the railroad tracks, casting a warm glow on the scene. Moving on to, Shacks at Pamet Head. Here, Hopper invites us to explore a coastal landscape, where weathered shacks stand as a testament to the passage of time and the resilience of the human spirit. In, Shore Acres, Hopper captures the essence of a seaside retreat, with its charming cottages and the vastness of the ocean. It's a painting that evokes a sense of peace and escape. Now, let's take a look at, Manhattan Bridge. Hopper's portrayal of the iconic bridge against the backdrop of the city skyline showcases his ability to capture the energy and grandeur of urban life. In, Gloucester Factory and Houses, Hopper brings us to a bustling industrial area, where factories and houses coexist. It's a painting that speaks to the changing landscape of America. Moving on to, Steps in Paris. Here, Hopper takes us on a stroll through the streets of Paris, capturing the charm and elegance of the city with his signature style. Next, we have, House with Veranda Charleston. Hopper invites us to step into the world of Southern charm, with its beautiful architecture and inviting verandas. In, House at Eastham, Hopper transports us to a peaceful countryside, where a solitary house stands amidst the beauty of nature. It's a painting that invites contemplation and reflection. Now, let's explore, Squam Light. Hopper's depiction of a lighthouse against a stormy sky captures the power and beauty of nature, reminding us of our own insignificance. Moving on to, Capron House. Hopper invites us to explore a historic building, with its intricate details and rich history. It's a painting that celebrates the beauty of architecture. In, Charleston, Hopper captures the essence of the city's vibrant streets, with its colorful buildings and lively atmosphere. It's a painting that invites us to immerse ourselves in the energy of the city. Next up, we have, Tables for Ladies. Hopper's portrayal of a cafe scene invites us to imagine the stories and conversations that unfold within these walls. In, Untitled, Hopper leaves the interpretation up to us, with a painting that sparks our imagination and invites us to find our own meaning within the canvas. Moving on to, Dawn Before Gettysburg. Hopper captures the stillness and anticipation before a historic battle, reminding us of the weight of history and the sacrifices made. In, Study for Western Motel, Hopper invites us into a motel room, with its stark lighting and sense of isolation. It's a painting that speaks to the loneliness and longing that can be found in everyday life. Next, we have, Lighthouse. Hopper's portrayal of a lighthouse against a vast expanse of water captures the sense of guidance and hope that it represents. In, Intermission, Small, Hopper invites us to take a break from the chaos of life and find solace in the quiet moments of reflection. Moving on to, Mrs. Acorn's Parlor. Hopper's attention to detail and use of light creates a sense of warmth and intimacy, inviting us into this cozy space. Lastly, we have, Male Nude. Hopper's exploration of the human form showcases his ability to capture the beauty and vulnerability of the human body. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of Edward Hopper and his incredible artworks. Stay tuned for more artist spotlights on this art. Thanks for watching.